Hi, this is Grace Pamela, someone.com, and today I'm going to show you how to edit a completely overexposed image um, using a RAW file that you took from your camera in Photoshop's Adobe Camera Raw. So this would definitely not be possible if this image were um, a JPEG file, so that's why I like to recommend, um, especially if you're a beginner, how to use um, RAW files and the benefits of them because uh, you can definitely bring it all back and this is the actor that I did just earlier. Um, obviously it can be brought back entirely up to you and how you like your images, but I just did a quick basic edit and I'm gonna show you um, a similar basic edit. So um, one of the most coolest things about RAW files is it has the ability to save all the information from that day of shoot. So, Instead of it, if it was just a JPEG, it would look like this, and if you tried to edit it, it would get pixelated, and you wouldn't be able to get back that lost detail, because that's just a flat, compressed image. Um, but if since you shoot in RAW, you would be able to completely bring back all the details, because it's all stored in that lossless file. So I'm going to go ahead and show you first how to open a RAW file in Photoshop. Um, you can either take your RAW file and drag it into Photoshop and it should open, or you can import it from Lightroom, or you can also go to File, Open, and you can go to where your RAW files are located, select it, and then select Open. Now we have our new window that pops up, um, which is Adobe Camera Raw, and you have your uh, settings and tools over here. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on it and showing you how to bring this image back to life. Um, and because it's a raw file, uh, you'll see that we'll be able to bring it back without losing any details. So I'm just going to work on it little by little and you can kind of follow along. Um, every image is going to be completely different, so I just like to do little basic adjustments and go along the way. So the first thing I want to do is bring down that exposure and bring back those blacks. I'm going to bring the whites up, the shadows up a bit, and the vibrance, some saturation. And now I'm going to bring the exposure back up a bit since we're now working on it. Another thing when you're working with um, underexposed or overexposed images, your white balance might be off. So you can either select uh, the white balance tool up here and select an area in your image, such as a gray spot, to kind of bring that back. Or if you don't like that, uh, you can also go ahead and do it manually via these sliders here. I also like to come over here into my tone curve and you can adjust the settings here as well. Another thing I like to do is I like to go over to camera calibration and change the camera profile. A lot of times um, this will change your RAW file from looking dull and flat to basically what it looked like in your uh, camera. But since this, since this image was not that great in camera at all, we don't want it to look like that. So it'll just come out a little differently. But you can see it kind of brought back some of that life in the image. So I like to do... Um, that's one of my favorite settings in Lightroom and in Adobe Camera Raw. You can also come over here to your colors and you can change the hue of some of the colors and you can also change the saturation. So I can see because I brought the color up that my blues are getting a little too bright. So I'm going to go ahead and bring those down. You can also bring down some of the redness or any other color you don't really like or you can change some of the colors completely. Going back over here, you can see we're really getting somewhere with our image. Another thing you might notice 
is you're going to want to go into your details and I'm going to actually zoom in a bit so you can see. Sometimes this looks pretty great, but sometimes when you're working um, with under or overexposed, uh, your sharpening and noise might be a little off. So if you ever want to sharpen your image more, this is that slider to do so. You can see it's definitely sharpening that up a bit. And then you can also reduce some of the noise by messing with this slider, the luminance. Okay, so we're basically just working on a basic image. Um, obviously, I can go on probably for days trying to get it perfect. But uh, this is a basic image, and I'm going to show you a before and after from what we came from to what we are at now. So this is our before and after. It's definitely a huge difference. Um, what would have been a throwawayable file is now a savable file and a usable file. So it's definitely interesting how that works. Um, I'm gonna go in so you can see. So you can see there's definitely no detail lost. It's all brought back and we are able to 100% use this image if we wanted to. Once you are finished you can go ahead and select open image and that will open it up in Photoshop for you. Now you can further edit with actions or hand editing or whatever you prefer, but let's say you didn't quite like it and you wanted to go back into Adobe Camera Raw, you can go ahead and duplicate your background by right clicking your background layer and selecting duplicate layer, select OK, right click that layer, and then you can go to convert smart object, and then you can go up to filter, lens, or camera raw filter. And now you're back in where you were in Camera Raw and you're able to further edit it however you prefer. Then you can select OK and you'll see you have a separate layer for the new adjustments you made. If you don't like it, you can just turn it off and flatten or if you do like it, you can just go ahead and flatten and edit from there. I hope this was helpful and thank you so much for watching.